Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Homestead Hearts. And today we are making a delicious meal. It is so simple to make, but y'all, it is so delicious. So y'all stick around because you don't want to miss this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go over the ingredients. And to start is the star of the show. This is our spaghetti squash. If you've never ever seen or eaten spaghetti squash, you definitely want to stay tuned for this because I got to tell you, this is a wonderful alternative. If you're trying to get away from the pasta, you're going to like it, okay? So you're going to need a spaghetti squash. They come in sizes that are a little smaller or a little bigger than the one that I have, but you choose one based upon the size of your family as well as the rest of these ingredients. All right, next we have some garlic. You're going to use about two cloves of garlic. I have one here and then these little two because they're so little, so I have to make up the difference, right? So it's going to be about two cloves of garlic. I'm using a green and a red bell pepper, one zucchini. I'm using yellow and red onion, and I'm using three of these because they're so small. So I'm going to use three, two yellow and a red right here just for the color and the flavor of the red onion. I like that too inside of my butternut squash. All right, you're also going to need a little bit of butter. You're going to need two cups of cheese, shredded cheese of your choosing. You're going to need some tomato paste. You're going to need some tomatoes. You're going to need some olive oil. And then you're going to need some spices. Of course, I have some kosher salt. I have some Italian seasoning. I have some chili powder, the chipotle flavor. And I also have some sweet basil. Ooh, and it smells good. Now, last but certainly not least. Oh my goodness, I'm missing my cayenne pepper. Girl, what are you thinking? All right, so I'm going to get some cayenne pepper from up here. Don't y'all talk about my cayenne pepper in the container. I have a visitor here. She didn't know I had a ton of cayenne pepper in my pantry, so she was cooking a dinner for me, and she went out and bought some cayenne pepper. I was like, child! <laughs> anyway, cayenne pepper um, and some ground turkey. Now, the ground turkey that I have here is about one and a half pounds, and this is a mixture of just regular ground turkey and the ground turkey sausage. So if you make turkey sausage, then you can make, you know, you, if you know how to make turkey sausage, then this will be perfect for you. Or you can do one or the other. You don't have to mix it like I did. I just like the flavor. So you can either just do ground turkey or you can do turkey sausage. All up to you, okay? So let's get started. Oh, and of course, preheat your oven to 450 degrees, okay? All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is get this baby cut in half, and I'll show you what I do, all right? Voila. All right, so now that we got these cut in half, we are going to just take a spoon and scrape out the insides and if you all have a compost bin, this will be perfect for your compost bin. If you don't have a compost bin, just go ahead and discard it, okay? So I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna get all of the insides out, seeds and all. This is gonna turn out to be so delicious. This is actually one of my favorite things to grow the spaghetti squash and the butternut squash. I love growing these things. Oh my goodness. From this one little bitty, it ain't little bitty, but from that one seed, y'all see that one seed? From that one seed, you will get a vine that will give you multiples, multiples of this spaghetti squash. I gotta say, you know, that's this to me. I just, I love that gift. I love that gift that God always gives. It's one that you can't beat, right? 
because he just keeps giving to you over and over and over again. So from, from one seed, you can get many. Isn't that beautiful? All right, so let's go ahead and get this all scraped out. Okay, so now we have this all cleaned out, got the insides all cleaned out. And the next thing I am going to do is I'm going to use some olive oil. You can use regular olive oil, extra virgin, whatever you prefer. And I'm gonna just drizzle some on the inside of each one of my, I'm almost out of oil. In fact, that's gonna do it. Okay, so then I'm gonna just take my hand and I'm gonna rub this all around the inside of my butternut squash, all around the, the uh, edges of it here. I'm gonna get everything nice and coated with the olive oil. Do both of those that way. This is so easy to make y'all, telling you. This is so easy, but it's so good. Now that I have that oiled, I am gonna go ahead now and just season the inside with just a little bit of salt. Mm-hmm. Just a little. I'm also gonna add, all right, I'm gonna add a little bit of cayenne pepper to the top of this and on the inside. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of Italian seasoning to the inside of this as well. Just go on over it. Mm -hmm. And it smells so good already. That Italian seasoning is a nice blend of different herbs. They smell good too, y'all. Okay, so let me show you what this looks like. Ta-da! Isn't that beautiful? Okay. All right, so I am now going to go ahead and sit this ground turkey to the side. Let's see something here. Now, so that's what that looks like. That looks good too, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to slide these over, get my utensils out of the way, grab my pan that I have lined with some foil paper, and I am going to take my, my spaghetti squash, and I'm going to turn these upside down and put them in my roaster or in my paint, my baking dish, okay? And I have a little oil on my hand, so I'm just rubbing that on the skin. That'll keep it from burning. Okay, voila. All right, and that's what we have. This is already off to an easy start, isn't it? So at 450 degrees, depending on the size of your squash is gonna determine how long. Mine is a nice size, so mine is gonna be in for about 50 minutes. Okay, and I'm setting my timer for 50 minutes, and once we're done with that, I'm gonna bring you back and show you what we do next. So, the spaghetti squash is in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead now and get all of these vegetables cut up. The bell pepper, the garlic, the onion, and the zucchini. All right, so now, as I finish chopping up my vegetables, I almost forgot um, one of the ingredients. And that ingredient is sour cream. You gotta top that off with some sour cream. Some like uh, Greek yogurt. My daughter loves Greek yogurt. But um, for this dish, we're going to top it off, finish it off with some delicious sour cream. So I'm going to go ahead and finish getting all of my vegetables chopped up. I got all of my onions done. And it was, in. trust me, this was a tearful event. <laughs> but I got all my vegetables chopped up including those onions. That red onion was something else. But I got them all chopped up. So now I'm going to finish getting my zucchini all chopped up. And I guess y'all can stick around for this part. It's real easy. Chopping up some zucchini. Okay. So now that I have my squash cut, and this is my garlic. I'm just going to slide that to the side. But 
I'm going to get this cut up. And you can um, dice this as thick or as thin as you like to. I'm going to put mine in last and separate because like I said, I have a child that does not care for zucchini in any form. Alright. Easy to cut up too. Don't take but a sec. I'm going to put that in a separate bowl and get this one cut up as well. All right, zucchini all cut. All right, we're back. So now I have my pan heating up on this stove. I'm going to go ahead and get some oil added to this pan, just a little bit. Make sure that oil is all over the bottom of the pan. Okay, and that oil is already nice and hot. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and get my vegetables added. My bell pepper, my onion. Get that added. To the pan. And we're going to get all of these sauteed up really, really good. We're going to add the garlic last. Alright, so we're going to give those a chance to do what they do. And then we'll come back and add the garlic. That's looking so good. All ready. We want to keep stirring those. Let those continue to hang out. I'm not going to add the zucchini to this yet. Um, what I'm going to have to do, like I said, my daughter doesn't like the zucchini. And I tried to sneak it in there one day. And it did not work. <laughs> she was able to pick that out and taste it. Oh my goodness, it did not work. Trying to sneak your vegetable piece. But I am going to take some vegetables out just for her. You got to get back in there. Take some vegetables out just for her. And then add the zucchini for the rest of us folks who like zucchini. These are getting that beautiful color to them. I'm going to now go ahead and add in my two cloves of garlic. Oh, that smells good. I'm going to go ahead and add in my two cloves of garlic. Oh my goodness. Here we go. Here we go. That garlic got it doing something, something. Yes, that smells. Oh, that smells so good. Mm. I got 20 minutes left on the clock for my spaghetti squash. This is going to be time just right. All right, now what I'm going to do is get my turkey added to the pan. Let's get this all added in there, get it all in there. We're going to get this nice and brown. Nice and brown. Stir all of this in here together. <laughs> I 
had a neighbor to say, the last time I did this dish, she said, I smell that all outside. <laughs> what is that you cooking in there? And I told her, I said, you know what? I'm going to do a video. I'm going to put it on my YouTube channel and show you exactly how I do what I do with this spaghetti squash dish. So hopefully, if you're watching, hi there. Let me know what you think. All right. So I'm going to just let this go ahead and cook up and get this nice and brown. This got to cook up and hang out in the skillet for a while, okay? And when it does that, once it's done, I'll bring y'all back and show you what I do next, y'all. Okay, we're back. That's still cooking up. And what I'm going to do now is go ahead and get my spices added to this dish. And I'm going to add just a little bit. And I'm eyeballing this. Y'all can, you know, do however y'all see fit with your spices. But... I'm just eyeball. Who measures anyway, right? Who does that anyway? Not me. I'm gonna add some cayenne pepper to this. Adding some of my kosher salt to this. Are you even open? Oh, there you are. All right. I'm gonna add a little more of my Italian seasoning to this. Like I say, I'm just eyeballing it, y'all. Oh, yeah. Can't forget about this basil. Oh, no. Mm -mm. Can't forget about the basil. How about a little bit more? That smells so good. Okay. Give that a turn and a toss and a flip and a stir. Oh, that smells good. That smells so delicious. Mm -hmm. That smells good, y'all. You know what I think I'm going to do? Mm. I think I'm going to do something a little different this time. Yes, I am. I'm going to add in some smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. And y'all know I love smoked paprika, but only the McCormick kind. I haven't found a smoked paprika that tastes better. Oh yeah, that's doing it. I haven't found a smoked paprika that tastes better than that yet. Now y'all don't have to add that. That's optional. It just hit me. I just got the inspiration to go ahead and add Got that feel. Got the feeling. Mm. All right. All right. I'm gonna let that cook for another five minutes or so. I've added all the spices I'm gonna add. Once this is completely done, I'm gonna take some out. And put it in a separate container for that little one who don't, she ain't little, but for the one who don't like the zucchini. Alright, be back in a minute. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and take a little of this out for my daughter who does not like zucchini. Because now I'm going to add my zucchini to this. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's going to really do some stuff for this dish. And notice I'm not like really going to cook this long. I'm just adding it in at the very end. And this is going to soften it up. And it's going to taste really good. When I was trying to sneak the zucchini into her dish, it was nowhere near this size. I had them chopped up so little. But no. My little private investigator, she was able to pick them out. All right, so what I'm going to do, nice big piece of meat. what I'm going to do, because I have 10 minutes on the clock, I've gotten those tossed around in there, 
I'm going to put a lid on those. And I'm going to let those continue to cook. Well, they're going to cook. I'm not going to have the fire on. They're just going to cook in the heat of that pan and the, the rest of the vegetables and the ground turkey. And then they're going to go in the oven too. So I don't have to worry about it. All right, y'all, I'm back. So now what I'm going to do, because my timer is about to go off on my, uh, on my spaghetti squash, I am going to go ahead now and add the rest. I'm going to add to my meat mixture now just the tomato. I'm also going to add in the tomato paste. And I'm going to back you up and show you what I'm doing with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take this can of tomato paste. I'm going to empty the contents out into a bowl. That's my timer going off. I'm going to turn my oven off. And the timer. But I'm going to get all of my tomato paste out of this can. All right, and then I'm going to add to this one equal part of water. Okay, then I'm just going to give this a stir. This is all I'm going to do. Stir that around. And I'm not going to season this with anything either, y'all. I'm just going to leave the paste just like it is because I have my other ingredients over there that are heavily seasoned. Nothing else I need to do. So I'm just going to mix this around until it's nice and smooth. All right. Almost. And I'm going to add this now to my mixture over there. It's nice and smooth now. So I'm going to add this to my mixture. All but a couple of tablespoons I'm going to add. And I'll show you why. Okay. Give that a stir. I'm using San Marzano tomatoes. I just love that tomato. They do cost a little bit more if you buy them out of the can in the store, but I can't help it. I really enjoy that tomato. I love the flavor. All right, so I'm just mixing this around. Give that a stir. And if you have some Parmesan cheese, you can add some Parmesan cheese in at this uh, phase too. You can add some of that in. Give that a little stir. All right. So that is all of the fixings. Now it is time to take the butternut squash out. Did I say butternut squash again? I did. It's time to take the spaghetti squash out of the oven. All right, let's get this out of the oven. Smoke it. Have it right there. Close that hot oven up. Now, we're going to flip these over. Do you see how those are looking nice and brown? All right, so do be very careful not to burn yourself. I'm using my fish turner for this because it's the perfect size to get under there. And uh, flip these over without me burning myself. All right, flip. Ooh, that's hot. Perfect. All right, let's move this back some so y'all can see. I hope y'all can see. Let me show you what these look like. So this is what this looks like, okay? Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Now, the next step of this is going to be 
making this look like some spaghetti noodles all right is I'm gonna to start to pull this away from the sides okay that's all I'm gonna do is gently pull away from the sides and it's already making the beautiful spaghetti noodle beautiful then I'm gonna lift up the center just reach right down in the bottom and lift it right on up from the very bottom. You want to get as close to that skin as you possibly can at the very bottom. Okay, pull that away. Now what I'm going to do at this point, remember we were adding some butter. So I'm going to add maybe about a, a tablespoon or half a tablespoon or so of butter to each one of these. And then I'm just going to mix that around in my noodles. That gives, they make them so nice and creamy and so flavorful, that butter does. Oops. All right, and I'm going to do the other one like this. Come on, close eye. Just pull it away from the sides. Are you cooking over there? Let's turn you off. Pulling this away from the sides. This is such an easy dish to make. I'm telling y'all, it's so easy. Just pull all the spaghetti noodles from the side, then go underneath the bottom and just lift it up. And now you want to spread your butter around. Make some nice and loose. If you don't want to use butter, you don't have to. You can use olive oil instead, but I like the flavor of the butter. All right, so now that I've done that, I am going to add to each one. Jackson, what I'm going to do to each one of these, well, except for somebody who don't like, this is a heavy pan, I'm going to add a spoonful of this to this, a couple of spoons actually. Gonna toss that around. Get that all down in the squash. All down in the squash. Toss it around. And then I'm gonna go back over the top. I'm gonna add a little more to the top. Okay, maybe a lot more. <laughs> yep, just like so. And remember that cheese we were talking about? We're gonna take a nice handful of this cheese and it's gonna go right over the top. Right over the top, mm-hmm. And then right over the top of that, I'm going to sprinkle a little more basil. And also, if you have some oregano, and I do, we're going to add a little bit of oregano to the top of this as well. Alright, and I'm going to do the same thing, not with this dish though, with this one right here. From this little lady. I'm gonna spoon hers over the top on one side. <laughs> That's her side right there. That's her half. <laughs> so I'm gonna add all her meat to the top. Oh my goodness, I'm making a mess. I'm gonna add all of hers to that one side. Because this is a big meal. So this is enough for multiple people, right? And then on this side, I'm going to add this. And then I'll cut that in half. And we'll share. And she mm -hmm. won't have to get the side with all of the zucchini. Make sure it's distinct. All right. And then to this as well, I'm going to add... A nice big layer of cheese here.
So that's about a cup of cheese on each side. Going to add over the top some oregano. Make this taste really good. Then I'm going to add a little basil as well. This is going to go back in the oven. Let's show you. This is going to go back in the oven. Look at all of that. That's a heavy, hearty meal right there. That's going to go back in my oven until the cheese is nice and bubbly and out it will come. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, the timer is done. Let's get this out of the oven. And I have to tell you, this smells so good, y'all. Oh, have mercy. And this right here, don't worry about that. That's tomorrow's dinner. Yes, it is. Nothing goes to waste around here. Nope, waste not, want not. I always say that. All right, look at this. See? Y'all just don't understand. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about right there. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so let's turn this around so we can get a good view of this delicious spaghetti squash. I know I said it was easy. I hope you all think it was a simple, easy dish as well. Nothing too complicated. You Right, so now, again, I hope this wasn't too complicated. I'm going to show you how I get this plated up and where that delicious sour cream comes into play at. Mm -hmm. So give me one sec, and I'm going to show you exactly what I'm going to do. All right, stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get this show on the road. I have my handy-dandy fish turner here, and I'm going to lift out one of the spaghetti squash, one whole one, and it's gonna be heavy. And I made sure, oh, that's heavy. And I made sure that I do not have the one that my daughter does not like <laughs> with all of the zucchini over the top. Okay, that looks good. And what I'm gonna do is my sour cream, I'm gonna add that to the top. Now I'm gonna cut this in half. Um, I have uh, visitors here. And so we're all going to, you know, this is going to be like plenty <laughs> for us. So what we're going to do is I'm going to cut this in half, but my sour cream, I'm going to put a dollop of sour cream on the top. And just in case you were wondering, yes, I turned this upside down in my refrigerator. Let me back you up. In my refrigerator because it holds down the liquid. See there, no water floating, all of that in there. I hate that. And so that keeps it looking nice and fresh. So I'm going to just put a dollop of sour cream on there. And, uh, oh, and y'all, don't judge me. Don't judge me. But I take a little bit of salt and I sprinkle it over that sour cream because that sour cream hey, is sour. <laughs> so I add a little bit of salt over the top. And then I'm just going to grab a knife and I am going to cut this baby in half I think there we go cut it in half like so and that's it and let's have a look see on the inside did it cut no nope. oh there we go and that's how that looks on the inside come along I'm gonna show you what this looks like as soon as I put this knife down. Come on, let's look. There it is. That's a lot of meal right there. Look at there. That's a whole lot of meal. So I am going to thoroughly enjoy my spaghetti squash. I hope I hope you all enjoyed this little video. I think I showed you that one too. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed this video on how I prepare my spaghetti squash. And of course, the recipe can vary based upon what you feel like tasting in your butternut squash that day. It could vary greatly. You might want to saute eggplant. Instead of ground turkey, you might want to chop you up an eggplant, dice it up real good, and saute that. 
and use that in your butternut squash, the possibilities are endless. So you can do with this recipe as you see fit. Make it your own. Well, y'all, thank y'all so much again for watching Homestead Heart. I do hope you enjoyed this enough to like and subscribe to our channel. Share it with everybody that you know. We would certainly appreciate that. And we appreciate you, all of you who are subscribers to our channel. Thank you so much, so very much for watching. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you next time.